Welcome back to my channel. Pour yourself a hot cup of coffee or tea and let's chat. Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to chat with you a bit while I am driving to a um, cheerleading competition for my niece. And it is raining out here, so if you hear the wipers or some rain, um, please excuse the background noise. But I wanted to talk about a little, well, I'm sorry. I wanted to talk a little bit about expectations and boundaries within your um, homeschooling journey. Within your homeschooling journey, you're going to find that a lot of friends, family, and loved ones may find themselves interjecting their opinions and thoughts about what you are doing or what you're not doing within your homeschooling journey. And I just wanted to give you some um, motivation and encouragement on how to deal with um, that type of situation. It is important for you to have a goal or a philosophy or a few objectives for why, for why you are doing this homeschooling thing in the first place. And that will help you feel confident when you feel as if you are on the defense when trying to explain what you're doing and why you're doing it. Especially if you're working full time and your children are enrolled in private, public, or some type of charter school or co-op. Well, let me rewind that. Don't ever feel as if you have to explain to anyone why you're doing what you're doing, um, the benefits of it, um, the successes, the failures. There's no need for you to have to defend what you're doing um, or explain to anyone why you are deciding to go down this homeschooling journey with your children, okay? So first, let's set up a philosophy. You do need to have some type of understanding as to why you are doing this. Why are you deciding to follow me on my journey so that you can hopefully begin your own journey? Why are you deciding to work full time and do some type of homeschooling with your child? Especially if your child is already enrolled in school full time or part time, right? Again, understanding that foundational knowledge or information will give you the confidence you need to speak about the topic, right? The next thing you need to do is set some expectations for your household. What is your um, outcome? What is the outcome that you want for each of your children as a whole, right? So set expectations and those expectations will help you set boundaries for what is to be expected within this homeschool journey. So um, I just wanted to pop in a little bit and just give you that encouragement and just to give you some food for thought because again, you're gonna compare yourself. It's, it's natural, it's gonna happen. You are going to find yourself on the defense when trying to explain to others what you're doing and why you're doing it. And I just want to help you understand that your journey is your own, your philosophy is your own, your style is your own, your methods are your own. And as a household, you guys, um, maybe you and your children or you and your spouse or whoever your support system is, your household has to have a philosophy, some goals, some objectives, um, you have to kind of have some expectations set out for what the year will look like, what you want each child to learn, what you want to learn from the process. And again, those expectations, I promise you, will help you set boundaries for the journey that you're deciding to take. So again, I hope this um, video was of encouragement of some sort. I hope you found at least one thing useful um, and as always, um, make it a great day. And until I see you again, again in another video, enjoy your day.